Hello everyone, and welcome to the second Coco programming tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm just going to be giving you an overview of what the different files do uh, in the default Coco application that we create uh, when we create a new Coco application. So, again, just kind of an overview of what each file does, and also a little bit of navigation around Xcode 4. So um, I'm also going to show you again how to create a new project in Xcode 4 because um, there are a few different things that I didn't realize were selected. Um, it's not bad if you have them selected, but they weren't needed. So anyway, I'll talk about that as well. So let's go ahead and create a new Xcode project just by clicking on that. And as you can see, under Mac OS X application, we have Cocoa application. And also, just as a side note, uh, if you're already in Xcode, you can go to File, New, and New Project as well to get to this template chooser. So anyway, back to this, uh, we want to select Cocoa Application. Go ahead and hit Next. Uh, type in just uh, the uh, name of the project that you want. And in the previous tutorial, I left in this checkbox for Include Unit Tests which aren't going to be needed for uh, these tutorials. So you can go ahead and uh, deselect every checkbox, every checkbox that is down uh, in the project section. So um, Xcode 3 never actually had this option, so um, or at least I don't believe it did. Anyway, it was never selected by default, so um, we, don't, we, we don't actually need it in here. So anyway, you can deselect every checkbox that is there, and go ahead and hit Next. And in the save uh, dialog here, you can also see that in the previous tutorial, I left source control checked on, and we don't actually need this checked. Um, source control is kind of like a time machine for um, Xcode. It kind of just saves your source code uh, as you go or when you want to. So, um, so we don't really need that on because these tutorials are going to be pretty short anyway. Um, they're just going to show different things. And for the most part, if you make a mistake, you can just look at the tutorial if you want to know what went wrong. So source, co source control isn't too important in uh, these tutorials. So you can go ahead and deselect that if you want, uh, and just select the folder that you want to save all these projects in, and go ahead and hit Create. So now the window will load up here of our, uh, our project. And as you can see, you're presented with a bunch of different things, and now I'm going to kind of break down what all this stuff is. So as you can see over on the left here, we have the navigation area, which used to be considered the groups and files section in Xcode 3. And basically, it just contains all the files that are contained within your project. So as you can see on the left here, if I just zoom in a bit, you can see that we have a bunch of different files that are related to our uh, pr program. And as you can see, there's a bunch of more in a bunch of other files in these groups. So uh, we'll be talking about a few of those things in a second. But uh, for now, that's what's over in the navigation area. So navigation area, again, is mostly just to navigate between your different files. And you can also add uh, new files in by um, dragging and dropping them into the navigation area. So anyway, um, the thing on the right here, or this big area, is just the editor area. So it's basically, uh, it will change depending on what you have selected, and it's just um, basically anything that you have to edit. So as you can see here, we have the project selected, and it gives different information pertaining to the, uh, to the project. If I select a code file here, for example, you'll see that it switches to code. But uh, and as you can see, if I select the Xcode project, though, it will change back to uh, project information. So um, just a few different things here. You can see that we have version number, uh, ca application category for like the Mac App Store. There's a bunch of different things here that you can change. Uh, also the app icon, so if you want to uh, put in an applic application icon so that when you um, run your application you can see a picture on the dock instead of the default application uh, picture. So your app icon is just what your application looks like. And Xcode 4 makes this nice because we can just drag and drop the icon right into this image well. So anyway, uh, once uh, anyway that's what the summary section does of this. There's also this info section, which is basically just a lot of information pertaining to your project. We probably most of the time won't really uh, mess with any of this stuff, so um, don't be too concerned about it. Build settings is just kind of how your project runs or different uh, settings that you uh, want for when you're running these projects. 
And um, so we'll change a few things in there, but I'll talk about that when we need to. So anyway, uh, that's what pretty much this uh, the project looks like here, and uh, not too much to talk about, and of course we'll be talking about these things as we go along. So now let's go over to um, our navigation area, and let's select the first uh, file over here in this Lesson 2 heading, or group. And as you can see, this opens up an interface file. And this gets me to my next point of, for all these Coco uh, tutorials, you are going to need to know a little bit about uh, Objective-C. Uh, for these tutorials, I at least expect that you know um, how to create a class in Objective-C and uh, quite a few other things as well, just some uh, simple classes such as NSString and NSArray. And all these tutorials are available on the channel as well. They're just the Objective-C tutorials. So if you don't know any Objective-C, um, that's fine. Just check out the Objective-C tutorials before trying to jump into this. Um, Coco is a kind of an expansion of all this, and when you're working with uh, user interfaces and stuff, you really want to know what um, what uh, the what you're coding for. So you certainly want to know the language uh, before you begin all this. So anyway, that's just an important note. So. Uh, again, as you can see over here in the navigation area, we can see that we have two files here, and if you've been doing Objective-C uh, long enough, you'll notice that one is the, the header or the uh, interface file, and the other one is the implementation, which together creates a class. So um, basically, these two files right here are just um, kind of like one class, and this class is called the app delegate when you create a new project. Um, we'll get into delegates and what that means a little bit uh, later on, but really all these two files are are kind of the controllers of your program. So um, when you create a new program, and uh, for example, if you press a button on your program and you want it to do something in code, probably you're going to have your code in one of these files. So your code might be in your implementation section of your app delegate. So um, We'll be getting into uh, all of what all this different stuff means as we go on, but essentially these two files just contain um, the class that will control your application for now. Anyway, you can also um, create different files uh, that will control your application, but for now uh, we'll probably be only working with these two. So um, anyway, that's just a main point: is that these two files are really just the controllers of your application. They determine uh, what happens when certain things happen in your program. So uh, you've seen this and if you've worked with Objective-C at all you probably know uh, what most of this means and uh, if you get up to um, pretty much the Lesson 20 tutorial in Objective-C you probably know enough to uh, begin these tutorials. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll be talking more about what all this code means as well, so if you actually don't know what uh, this means, don't freak out because uh, you don't need to yet. Um, we'll be talking about what all this stuff means in the coming tutorials, but just know that you're going to have to know some Objective-C before beginning. So the next part here is uh, the main menu.zib, and also referred to as a nib file. Uh, the extension used to be .nib, and now it's .xib, uh, they changed their format or something. So anyway, um, they're kind of referred to as nib files sometimes, but you can also refer to them as uh, zib files if you want. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, this is main menu.zib. And what you're looking at here is essentially the uh, user interface of your program. So as you can see along the top, I actually have a menu bar that um, basically would act as a menu bar that you'd see if I ran my program. So as you can see, it has all the basics um, that are a normal program would have, and uh, that's to be expected if you're going to run a program. So um, the very important part about um, the developing with uh, this section is that if you're coming from Xcode uh, 3, you would be used to Interface Builder, which is a separate application altogether. But in Xcode 4, they combine the two, and now you have Interface Builder built into Xcode, which is really nice because it was always a pain in the butt to switch between applications. So now you have Interface Builder inside of your application. So anyway, Interface Builder, again, just kind of develops your interface. And um, so, for example, we have our main menu bar up here. 
We can also close the main menu bar by just hitting this X button. It doesn't get rid of it. They're always on the side here, uh, like so. And the important thing to note is that if you click on one of them, you'll see that there's a little circle that opens up uh, next to the or next to the little window. So if I scroll up here, you'll see that now uh, this is open. Also, if I click on this window right here, it'll open up up my window and you can also see that the circle is still next to uh, the file so the circle means that it's basically open on the screen so anyway here I'm just kinda covering some random elements and again I'll get into more of what these mean but as you can see we have our main menu which is our menu bar and then the window which is basically just uh, the window for uh, our application so in this window I can add different uh, user interface elements and uh, it's done pretty easily with interface builder so I'll just quickly show you kinda how this works and it's really nice so all we have to do is go ahead and hit uh, this right button this button over here and it's uh, just on the top it's under the view heading it's just the very right and it opens up uh, this basically the section over here that contains all this information about the object you have selected so I believe this is known as the utility area now in Xcode 4 and it basically contains just a bunch of different information for especially interface builder you're probably gonna have this open a lot um, but also you can use it in your code as well and we'll get into examples probably later on where you can use this so anyway um, this is basically the utility area and as you can see right here if you hit the little um, basically there's a cube uh, which just rep represents an object you can see all these different graphic objects that Apple has created for us. So here you can see a push button, and if I drag it onto the screen, or onto our window, and I release it, you can see that the button is now on screen. So now the button is now encased in our window. So um, I'm not going to get into the specifics right now of how this button works and different things, but anyway, as you can see, we can just drag and drop different user interface elements onto our um, window. So even if I went to build and run this right now, I could even run this with this button on screen. And I didn't even do any code for it. All I just did was drag and drop an element onto a window, and now it works. So as you can see, I now have a button, and if I press it, it won't do anything. It still has its default. Um, if I, as you can see, it changes color if I hold and um, hold on the button. But, as you can see, it doesn't do anything, of course, because uh, I haven't linked it to any code. But as you can see, you can easily add interface elements just by dragging and dropping them onto your window. And this is basically the beauty of working with Interface Builder. And um, you'll see how all this works in the coming tutorials. But as you, uh, just to let you know that you can easily drag different interface elements onto uh, your basically your window here. And that will uh, will be the main way that we build applications. So anyway, this is uh, just what mainmenu.zib has and uh, all of its features. So this is basically just a, a very short overview of all the things you can do just by adding um, objects onto your window. So also now, uh, switching over, we can see that there's a section called supporting files. And I'm going to skip a few of these because they're just kind of random and we don't usually touch them that much. But one that you might be interested in is main.m. And if you're coming from the Objective-C tutorials or even um, C tutorials, you'll know that, um, that uh, main is essentially what you run all your programs in. Main is the main, uh, the main function is always what your program will look for when it boots up. So essentially, uh, if you were wondering how Cocoa applications run, essentially it does still go from the main function, and it will uh, just basically create an NS application. So that's really how it works. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, we never actually touch the main um, function really that much, or we for these tutorials we probably never will. So um, that's why it's kind of under supporting files, because you actually probably won't touch it um, with these tutorials. So um, supporting files, you can probably just leave it closed. Uh, we'll never really have to look at too many of these things. But I just thought I'd let you know that the main function does exist in Cocoa Apps, but it just really uh, starts your application. So anyway, uh, this was just kind of the grand overview of um, the Co uh, just navigating through Xcode and just the files that are contained in a Cocoa application. 
So um, just an important thing to note is that, again, I'll be explaining what all these different things mean in the coming tutorials. So don't be overwhelmed if you don't know what an NS window is. And if, you're, um, if you don't know what a property is, you probably should know that actually from the Objective-C tutorials. But I'll be covering a lot of this stuff uh, even again. So um, don't be too concerned if you're uh, kind of confused on what these two files mean. We'll be, uh, we'll be getting into so much about how uh, these things connect to our uh, user interface. And we'll be uh, fiddling around with this uh, for quite a lot. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, there'll be plenty more uh, tutorials coming on how to develop different things for Cocoa applications. If you have any questions, feel free to leave your questions in the comments section below, as well as uh, you can also send me a message or leave it on uh, my uh, channel page if you want to leave it there. But uh, you can always leave your questions in the comments, and I'll probably uh, respond to your comment um, pretty shortly, or after you post it. So anyway, um, that's pretty much what um, Xcode 4 has to offer for uh, creating our programs. And just again, the grand overview of how applications work, you have basically a controller object that contains all the data that will uh, be run throughout our program. So anything, uh, any uh, code that you're going to write will be in this kind of a controller object, uh, which is known as our app delegate here. Um, but we'll be we'll be talking much more about this and. Um, so just uh, as the overview, though, uh, these this class, uh, the lesson to app delegate in this case, uh, basically acts as the object uh, or the class that controls your application. So all when you press a button, uh, what will happen when you press the button? It's the brains behind your program. Your uh, main menu.zib is basically just um, what your interface looks like. So that's the the simplified version of what a Cocoa app really. Uh, does and uh, how it works. So anyway, uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you do have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and uh, if you uh, like these tutorials, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next tutorial.